National took an $11.7 billion swipe at Labor today, saying that was the size of the hole in its fiscal plan as it sought to portray the party and leader Jacinda Ardern as weak on the economy. National says Labor's biggest error is failing to roll out each year's operating allowances into subsequent years, which would increase the government's debt by $20 billion over the next four years. For its part, as you heard from our political editor earlier in the program, Labor says its numbers are robust, have been independently assessed, and National's are just indulging in a desperate attempt to mislead voters less than three weeks out from the election. So what can voters make of all of this just a couple of hours before the second televised showdown between Jacinda Ardern and Bill English? Economics columnist Brian Fellow, a former New Zealand Herald Economics editor, joins us on the line from Wellington. Really nice to have you on Checkpoint, Brian. You are a remarkably prescient man because over the weekend I read your uh, piece in the Herald, Brian Fellow, National Scrooge versus Labor oh, yeah. Spendthrift. Not really. It was a very fine piece of writing. 11.35 this morning, lo and behold, out comes a media statement from the Nets saying $11.7 billion hole in Labor's fiscal numbers. What's going on here? Well, I mean, in terms of the argument, I think um, Robertson's right and Joyce is wrong. It, it's not really that complicated. I mean, if, if you look at Joyce's budget, over the next four years, um, there, there's a line, total crown operating expenses. Yep. Um, in his budget, that adds up to $440 billion over the four years. The exact equivalent number in Labor's plan is $448 billion. So it's only $8 billion more. Uh, and, and meanwhile, of course, Labor plans to uh, cancel the tax cuts so it gets $7.4 billion more tax. So the, the money isn't missing. It's, it's just been reallocated in, in this, because that $440 billion in Joyce's budget includes a pretty roomy operating allowance or, or un, uh, a pot of money that is yet to be allocated to anything in future budgets. In his case, it adds up to $11.7 billion yeah, right. over, the ne over the next four years. Um, Grant Robertson has sort of delved into that and moved. Um, he, he, he ends up with a cumulative four and a half billion left unallocated. So he's taken basically seven billion out of that unallocated line and committed it to health and education and I think working for families and so on. So it's just moved in the jargon from below the line to above the line, from um, unallocated to committed spending. But it hasn't, you know, it, it, it is there now. Um, National would say its approach is more flexible. Labor would say its approach is more transparent and um, realistic. It's, it's, it, but it's a presentational choice. There's yeah, nothing so, dodgy okay, about so, the it, it, so if it's a presentational choice, and if we look at the, the National Party media releases and then uh, uh, Minister Joyce, who is uh, obviously Finance Minister but also National Party's uh, exactly, head, yeah. head, head of campaign strategy, he issues a, a media release with five errors. He reiterates those in his in his media conference. And the, the mm -hmm. big one is failing to roll out the, the operating allowances for each year into subsequent years, yeah. a total of $9.4 billion. He says all of this would cost jobs and even to family budgets. Now, that gets big coverage. That's a good headline. It takes a while for Labor to respond. An awful lot of journalists who are covering this don't really understand what everyone's talking I about. I don't blame them. No. And so is this disingenuous by Joyce? Is this a good faith error? Is this well, a difference of interpretation? What's going on here? Um, I, I don't want to put a moral cast on it. I think Labor could have been a bit more clear in, in the way it presented its um, operating balance that it is for each of those lines the residual the stuff that they have yet to commit rather than an accumulating total so if you take for example the um 20 21 year um labor's got a a, a figure of 1.5 billion the equivalent figure in joyce's budget is 5.5 now that the, the the 4 billion that's so to speak missing has been moved up and allocated to health and education and so on so it is there but instead of it you see what I mean? Yes, yes, absolutely. Mm. This plays to the narrative, doesn't it, that suits the Nats. And a National Party source who was uh, typically highly reliable told me today that one of the ways that the Nats are planning to negotiate the Jacinda effect, and of course they will want to do that, is to say that the country simply can't afford the values she is espousing. Now, you've crunched the numbers, and I really recommend you read National Scrooge versus Labour Spendthrift that's in the Herald. It's available online. You've looked at the cost of Labour's extra spending, and you asked the question, where is the extra $15.1 billion to come from? What's the okay, answer yeah. to that question? Well, OK, it's a good question. Half of it... it, it, it it sounds good for Labor to say we're going to spend 14.5 billion more 
over these four years. Half of that money is coming from the extra tax they'll get in, and the other half is, is coming out of this operating allowance kitty. Do you see what I mean? Yes. Um, that's it. They've also got a slightly higher interest bill because they're paying down debt more slowly. So, so when you say, so when the old phrase, the devil's in the detail, actually the devil's in the interpretation here, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But, you know, it's the old thing, lies, damn lies and statistics. Yeah, yeah. And public, a, public a, yes, and a great... And, 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 complicated. And, yeah, that's right. And and I might add, John, though, that um, all of this is about operating expenses. There's a whole separate story about capital items and some of the bigger numbers that National has been throwing around in this campaign aren't in any of this. They're... Um, capital items, like 10 billion more for roads and so on. Labor also has some pretty chunky capital items, like resuming contributions to the Cullen Fund early and, and a couple of billion to pump prime Kiwi build. So none of those figures on either side of the argument are, are included in this discussion, which is all about operating expenses. It's going to be Just a fascinating <laughs> <laughs> Simple. <laughs> well, and the problem Look, is, I mean, of course... The bottom line, John, is that, I mean, all of these numbers may well be rendered moot by some almighty international shock over the next three years. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Brian Fellow is former economics editor of the New Zealand Herald, uh, still an excellent economics columnist, and you can read his article, uh, National Scrooge versus Labour Spendthrift, in the Herald. It's available online. Thank you so much for your time and your analysis and insight, Brian.